Hey guys, welcome back today. It is time for my second update for my Mini Madness project. This is a project that was started by Aura McGuire, and there is a group of ladies choosing mini sized makeup items to try to use up, and we're doing this rolling 10 pan style. So if we finish an item, we will add another one in, and it's gonna be, it's gonna go through the year. So I actually did finish a few items this month, so I'm gonna add some in, and we are gonna see what those are. So if you guys wanna see my progress, and just keep watching. The first item that I finished is from Bare Minerals and this is their Visionary Gloss. I like these glosses. First of all, they smell like Girl Scout Thin Mint Cookies. Oh my gosh, so good. And they aren't, even though this has glitter in it, it wasn't uncomfortable. I didn't feel glitter particles on my lips. They're not the most long lasting, but I kind of like that because I don't like a super sticky lip gloss. I have several of these that I want to finish this year, not because I dislike them, but just because that they are minis and they're pretty easy to finish. I, I can go through these pretty quickly. So this is the first item, Vision. The second item is from Too Faced. This is their Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in Sellout. And there's actually a little bit in here, I think, but I've taken the stopper out and everything, and this is honestly so dry. The last few uses were like, oof. Oof. I, I don't think that I would repurchase these. I'm trying not to purchase liquid lipsticks because I don't wear them frequently enough. I love this color, but this formula is... This one was pretty dry for a liquid lipstick. It, it definitely wasn't my favorite, and I don't know if that was just this one, maybe because it was a mini, or maybe it was just too old to be considered fresh to death. I don't really know. I love the color, but I wouldn't repurchase it. A mascara. This is the Lancome Hypnos Drama Mascara. And this one is just starting to get really dry. It's got this curvy wand. I like this mascara, but it's time to give it up because it's starting to get really clumpy and I, I don't want clump. Um, I do have some progress on one of my Bite Beauty lip duos. This is the date and fig one. I am down to here on the date end, which is, you know, about halfway. And on the fig end, I am almost done. That is all that I have left, so that will... My goal is to have this done by the next update, so I'm just wearing this to death in March. I like these, but Bite Beauty uses food grade ingredients because they don't have as many preservatives in them so they do tend to go bad a little bit quicker and I'm trying to use a lot of my Bite Beauty products so they don't go bad. I do like the products though. The item that I'm adding in, I'm adding in four items actually because one is a mascara. Oh, uh, one is a mascara so you know it's a travel size mascara. It kind of goes pretty quickly. This is the YSL Mascara Volume this is already starting to feel pretty dry. I don't know if that's how this formula is or if this has just been in my drawer for too long. So I'm going to get as much use out of this as possible, but it already feels pretty dry. So I'm going to add that guy in. And since I finished two lip products, I'm going to add two lip products in because why not? This is another Bare Minerals gloss in the color Rebel, a really pretty pink. Like a nude, a very neutral pink. And also, the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Santa Sangre. Sangre? It's sort of a red-orange. The Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick formula is one of my favorite. It is so comfortable. The challenge for me is I don't wear a ton of red. Like ever. But if I wear a red, I like a red-orange. So I'm going to try to make this work as best I can. And I, I just want to use it. This is at least a year old because I got this at IMATS in 2016, like the fall of 2016. So I want to use this guy. The other item that I'm adding in is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in Moonlight. Um, I have never used this, but once this, set, this product settles, the, the line of demarcation for where the product starts is right here. This is a really intense, like really intense liquid highlight. 
so I think it would be a really pretty eyeshadow <laughs> too. But I mean, that is a that is a crazy highlight right there. Beautiful. That is my progress so far for the Mini Madness Rolling Ten Pan project. That is hard to say. I will leave the Google Doc link to everyone that is participating in this collab so you can check them out. And I will leave uh, Aura's channel down below because she was the one who came up with this idea. If you guys have any questions or comments, or if you're doing this, let me know how your progress is going. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!